Hey guys, how you doing today? Well, it's been exactly seven days since we started this homemade wine from Concentrate. And it's been bubbling in this bucket now, like I said, for seven days. And it's time to re-rack it and move it on to a different container. I'm going to go ahead and put it in one of these glass carboys over here. And the reason we do that is to get it off the old yeast and byproducts of the fermentation that's sitting in this bucket. So we're going to go ahead and do that today on this edition of the Guru Brew. Hang out for that. I wanted to show you this carboy. Isn't that an attractive carboy? Look at the one on the right and then look at the one on the left. My friends at carboy.net sent me these carboy covers and they're really jazzy. I tell you, I love these things. They keep the light out of the wine and they have handles on them to make it easy to move the wine. And uh, they zip up. I'll show you that in a few minutes. And um, they're just really nice. They have a padding on the bottom. So, you know, I would recommend this Carboy Covers by Carboy.net. Well, during the last seven days, I also started a new batch of wine. This is white wine from Concentrate. And I used this Concentrate here. It's Welch's Grape Juice. Let me get a close-up of this can. I want to show you something about this one. I pretty much followed the same recipe as I did on the other red wine. But the difference is this juice contains sulfides. And you can see right down here. It uh, says it contains sulfites to maintain flavor and freshness. Where this one over here doesn't say that. And I was really worried about it starting because this is the first time that I've used a concentrate even though it says 100 percent white grape juice had it actually say that it has sulfites on the container and um after i put the yeast in it took a while to start but uh the next morning it was bubbling along all right well let's go ahead and take a look at this i'm going to take the cover off for the first time in seven days just pull out our airlock here has a really good aroma to it I love that yeasty smell. Well, look at that. It's all foamy. So I'm not going to mix this up. In fact, if you do mix it up, you're going to stir up the sediments. Make sure that you just leave it sit and don't disturb the stuff on the bottom. All right. Well, this is called an auto siphon. And it's basically just a big long tube with a clip on it and it has this plunger and you hook your hose onto here and then when you give it a pump it automatically starts the siphon. Also there's a cap at the end to keep sediment out and keep this off the bottom. So I've already sterilized this in my Campton solution. Let's go ahead and put it in the bucket. Okay, just slowly lower it down. I don't want to disturb that sediment. Take it to the bottom and then put this clip on there. Alright. Almost ready here. Okay, so I have my tube here. I'm going to go ahead and, and put the, the tube in the, uh, the carboy. And then uh, hook it up here. Here we go. One pump for mankind. There it goes. I'll get a shot of it going in the bucket. So there it goes. You have to put the carboy a little bit lower so you get the siphon action. Just make sure that you do sterilize all your parts and equipment with the Campton solution. Just swish it around in it real good and make sure it's covered. You don't want to introduce any bacteria. Alright, we'll wait till this gets full. I'll be back. 
Okay, the siphon is complete and I've got just about a full jug there. Looks good. Let me show you what I didn't get. All that stuff in the bottom of this bucket is yeast and sediment. And that's the reason why we did this racking, is so the wine wouldn't sit on this and get the bad flavors from it. And we'll have to do this again in about three or four weeks. We'll move it to a, another clean jug. And usually that's all you have to do is move it once or twice. If it's particularly sediment filled, then you know you should keep doing it and um, we'll monitor that so let me sterilize some caps and then we'll get it in its new home okay I've got my Campton solution here in this this tray and I'm just letting these parts soak in it for a few minutes to make sure they're nice and sterile I'm gonna go ahead and put this cap on here and cap this wine up that so I'll block it off and then my airlock which I'm going to put on there and you already need a little solution in there we don't want to leave this open to the air too long because you know it's not good for it okay very good now I'm going to get my cover on there stay tuned for that like I was saying at the beginning of this video, my friends at Carboy.net sent me these really cool covers. And you know what? Ever since I got these, I really don't know how I did without them before. They've got a lot of benefits. You know, they keep the uh, container dark so it brews better. And it also keeps it warm. And if, you're, if your jar should ever break, you know, if this should ever break it would contain it and keep it glass out of you know harm's way really good construction and it has a padded bottom you know this is sitting on this metal surface right now and every time we move it it scuffs about this has a really nice rubberized material and it also has handles on the side so you can pour as well as two on the top. I'll show you that in a minute. Let's go ahead and get this girl inside the carboy cover. I probably should have did this before I filled it, but I uh, wasn't thinking this so. They have these in several different sizes. I got the five gallon size, and they've got a measuring chart on their website that helps you to decide what kind you need. So there it is, and like I was saying earlier, it's got these two handles on the side, and it also has these two handles if you're going to be doing pouring or shaking, and I like this feature over here too. This is a, a little pouch that they put in there, so you know the little pouch can store your notes about your brew, and I've got uh, my notes here. And there it is. I'll put a link in the description of where you can get it. It's carboy.net. Highly recommended. Well, I couldn't resist. Not bad. It's a little tart, but of course, you know, it's going to be until it's done when we sweeten it. Okay, well, as you can see, we're already starting to bubble again. That's good. This is going to sit here for probably about 30 days and then we'll go ahead and check it and if it needs to be siphoned again to get the sediment we'll do it then. If not we'll get ready for bottling and uh, you know it's that simple. So this completes this video for Wine for Beginners from Concentrate Part 2. So stay tuned for uh, other parts and before you know it we're going to be drinking some wine. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.